The cashew is the most promising commercial cash crop in recent years. Botanically known as Anacardium occidental L, the cashew it is abundantly used in manufacture of fenny, a drink which contains 60 to 70 percent alcohol. The probable origin of the cashew is West Indies and Brazil. Portuguese missionaries took it to India during the 15th century. Cashew cultivation is possible where no other crop can ordinarily be grown and is ideal in controlling soil erosion. Cashew is successfully grown in tropical climates in India, East and West Africa, Brazil and more recently in China, Vietnam, Thailand and Sri Lanka. The cashew cultivation does not require any irrigation and yields well even under conditions of acute water shortage. The cashew plant starts yielding within three years. Generally, the lifespan of a cashew plant extends up to 30 years. The cashew tree also produces food for shipping crates, boats, charcoal and gum similar to gum arabica. The cashew kernel is highly nutritious and is consumed either raw or roasted and is also used in the confectionery industry. In recent years, the Government of India under the World Bank Development Programs have given immense importance to development of cashew plantations and the organized growth of the cashew industry. The correct way of harvesting nuts is to collect them on the ground after they have fallen down from the trees. This practice ensures maximum maturity of the nut and hence its weight. This is a typical cashew processing plant. Ideally, a factory situated on an elevated landscape with plenty of sunlight would be preferred. Usually, the build-up area of a plant exceeds 30,000 square feet. Adequate space would be necessary for office, raw not go-downs, drawing yards, processing sections, the restroom and the canteen. The entire year's requirement of raw nuts is to be collected within the short span of the cashew harvesting season of two to four months. These raw nuts are spread out on the ground in open huge drying yards and are exposed to sunlight for two days. The nuts are constantly turned on their sides manually with the help of rakes. This drying helps lose about 8 to 10 percent moisture from the nuts. The drying also helps in preserving the nuts grown during the season from deteriorating before it is processed.
the dried nuts are then bagged they are then stacked in godowns In the roasting section the dried nut is roasted to make the outer shell brittle in order to take the kernel out easily without breakage The dried nuts are filled in an autoclave and steam generated in baby boilers is fed into the autoclave at 40 pounds per square inch for a period of 30 minutes per batch this autoclave has a capacity of 300 kg per batch the raw nuts are fed from the top of the autoclave the hopper is taken off the mouth shut and steam fed into the autoclave the roasting is complete when steam starts coming out from the mouth of the autoclave and this process takes about 30 minutes The roasted nuts are unloaded from the bottom outlet of the autoclave. They are then spread over the floor for cooling for about 24 hours. The time taken for each batch is about 60 minutes, thereby resulting in a production of 2.5 tons of roasted nuts per 8-hour shift. The steam roasting is far superior to conventional methods of processing. in that the quality of the product is more consistent the roasted nuts are then issued for shelling unlike the usual technique of shelling the nut by tapping it with an wooden mallet This advanced mechanical device is gaining popularity in the coastal part of India. These cashew cutters have been exported to Africa, Vietnam and Sri Lanka.
An advanced pneumatic version of the same is also available. The advantage of these cutters is in its double output per laborer than the conventional method and also in minimizing the breakages. The shelled nuts are separated and then sent to the borma for drying. Bormas are hot chambers made of mild steel and bricks. They are heated indirectly to maintain a temperature of about 90 degrees centigrade. The kernels are spread in sieved sizes and arranged in stacks for about 8 hours. They are allowed to remain there for the next 16 hours. They are further cooled at room temperature for a day after which they are sent to the peeling section. Experienced hands with the help of small blunt edged knives remove the tester and separate the kernels into grades of holes, broken and pieces. An experienced hand can turn out up to 10 kgs of kernel per shift. The testa, that is the outer covering of the kernel, is used for the manufacture of tannin, which is used in the leather industry. The nuts from the peeling section are graded into 24 varieties, depending upon their size, shape, color and texture.
The pieces are further sealed using a sizing machine depending upon their sizes using different sieves conforming to export specifications. The kernels are graded based on the count of the nuts per pound. For example, W180 indicates that there are 180 whole kernels in a pound. These are the jumbo house. A water atomizer is used to moisturize these graded exportable nuts to a maximum of 4% by weight. They are then filled into tins of 25 pounds standard packing after passing through a pneumatic dust separation chamber. The fill tins are accurately weighed and vacuumized in a bell jar. And carbon dioxide immediately induced for preservation. The tins are then sealed. A pair of tins is packed in a standard sized cardboard carton. The cartons are then strapped and kept ready for inspection by the Export Inspection Council of India. This is a government agency which has to certify all export commodities. The carry-on consignment-wise inspection 
and issue export worthiness certificates. They also insist on in-process quality control and hygienic and clean conditions. The entire process of converting a raw nut into a finished kernel takes seven days. The cashew shell from the shelling section comes to the cashew nut shell liquid extraction section. Expellers are used to extract oil from the shell to an extent of 25%. The major constituents of this oil are anacardic acid and cardol. The extraction waste is used as a high calorific value fuel. Suspended impurities are removed by passing through a series of decanting tanks. The oil is heated to a temperature of 180 degrees centigrade to remove the moisture and the volatile impurities. The oil is then suddenly cooled. This process is known as the cold process. The oil is then stored in tanks for industrial consumption. The cashew nut shell liquid is used as a waterproofing agent and preservative in the painting of boats, fishing nets and light woodwork. 
Besides, it serves as an important raw material in the manufacture of insulating varnishes, typewriter rolls, oil and acid proof coal setting cements, industrial flooring tiles and automobile brake linings. It is also used in the preparation of adhesive ingredients, pigments of gums, printing inks, oil cloth, paints and varnishes.